This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Carbonite. Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. Here's my review of the Moto G. This is a very affordable phone starting at just $179 off a of contract, unlocked. And it's a phone that Motorola is trying to put out there to make it very affordable, but also to don't make you feel cheated when it comes to the hardware and the performance of it. So we're gonna see if Motorola was actually able to achieve that just by taking a look at the hardware, design, software, and everything else that comes with the phone nowadays. It's gonna take a look at the design and the hardware starting off. Now this Moto G takes a lot of design cues from its bigger brother, the Moto X, which came out earlier this year. And this Moto G has a very nice, slightly curved back on it, so it's gonna be more conformed to your hand when you are holding it. Uh, but also too, it's not gonna be the thinnest phone, and also it does have a little weight to it. But this Moto G does have a sturdy design. It's a very solid build, and that just goes to show you that you don't have to have a very pricey phone to make sure your craftsmanship is up to the level what people expect nowadays. At the top of the phone, you will find a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the right-hand side, you will find the power button and also the volume buttons and at the bottom you will find a micro usb port now if you stick your finger in that micro usb port and pull on the back cover you're actually able to take off the back cover and from here you have access to the sim card slot and also you can see the battery but the battery is not user replaceable so it's kind of just a tease for you and there's no micro sd card slot so there's no expandable storage option with this moto g Another thing with this back cover is that they have different color options that you can choose from. So for $14.99, uh, you can buy a violet shell color or a royal blue or a turquoise or lemon lime or cherry. And also they have flip shells so you can actually protect the screen a little bit as well. So that's a nice option. Not as much you can go with the Moto X when it comes to customization, uh, but at least you can add some different colors to add a different flavor to your phone. Now, another positive about this design is the speaker placement. Now, a lot of times you'll find the speaker on the bottom of the phone. So when you are holding it in landscape mode, gaming or watching a movie, a lot of times your finger can cover it up. But with the Moto G, it's placed to the left side of the rear facing camera. And I think it's a really good placement. Now, it's not the HTC boom sound when it comes to quality, but at least you can hear it volume wise. and don't have to worry about turning the volume up and down depending on where your finger lays. Now when it comes to the display, the Moto G is rocking a 4.5 inch 720p display that has 329 pixels per inch. Is it the biggest, sharpest, brightest display on the market right now? No, but the display is really good for the price point. And when it comes to just everyday users, I never once picked up this Moto G and felt like, oh my God, this display sucks. I can go into detail about viewing angles and all that other stuff, but I would tell you that this display is just fine. Now the only problem that I can see some people having is just the size of it. Coming in at 4.5 inches, it may be a little small when it comes to the Android cell phones nowadays. Uh, but for the most part, if you can get over that size difference, this display will not disappoint most people. Now internally, the specs of this Moto G aren't too far off from what the standard is in the market right now. It does have a 1.2 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 400 processor, has one gigabyte of RAM. It comes standard with eight gigabytes of storage. We can choose to upgrade to 16 gigabytes if you wanted to, but both versions actually come with two years of 50 gigabytes of storage on Google Drive. So that's on top of the normal 15 gigabytes that you already get. So that's not a bad deal to have 65 gigabytes of cloud storage to store your photos, videos, or documents, or whatever else you want to put up there. Now it does have 802.11n when it comes to Wi-Fi and also Bluetooth 4.0, but it is missing a couple things and that's gonna be NFC and also LTE. Now the latter LTE is gonna be probably something that people are gonna have to consider because if you like me, you like to have fast data, you like to use your phone as a mobile hotspot or you like to download and stream a lot of movies and stuff, that may be a problem depending on who you are. But you just gotta keep reminding yourself, again, this phone is $179, so they had to cut some corners somewhere. Now, because this phone isn't rocking all the latest specs and doesn't have a full 1080p display to power, you're able to get some really solid battery life out of a phone by today's standard is relatively small. And the 2070 milliamp battery inside of the Moto G will be able to get you around 24 hours according to Motorola. Now, my personal uses, I was able to last an entire day plus a little bit of the morning or the next day before I even thought about putting it back on the charger. And that's just with moderate gaming, uh, but mostly just Facebook and Instagram and social networking and things like that. Uh, so this Motorola G is not going to disappoint when it comes to the battery life but one thing it may disappoint you with is going to be the cameras. The G has a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera and on the back it has a 5 megapixel shooter but it can only record 720p HD video at 30 frames per second. And so the quality of the photos and the videos are going to be right below average compared to other smartphones in the market right now. And don't even think about cropping your photos because you're really not going to have that much quality to them. But with that being said, I don't think many people are expecting the type of quality from an iPhone 5S or a Galaxy S4 or HTC One when it comes to the camera. But if you are a picture taker like me and I like to Instagram, I like to use my phone as my main device to take a lot of photos and save those moments, you may want to take the camera quality into consideration. 
Now the camera app is not the stock Android app that comes with Jelly Bean. Motorola did design this a little bit so you can swipe in from the left hand side and you get this menu dial with different options that you have. And this app has an auto HDR mode which is useful and also does have this mode where you can actually slide your finger around the screen to change the focal point which is interesting. And But again it's nothing to be wild about with this camera software but they did tweak it just enough to make it a little bit different from everybody else. All right, now for the hardware, it's going to talk about the software. Now, the G is running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. It was supposed to be running Android 4.4 KitKat at launch, but Motorola elected to move that back to early next year. So that's kind of a disappointment, but Jelly Bean is still really good, and especially on this device. And the fact that it's pretty much running a stock version of Android, it's not a lot of stuff that really needs to weigh heavy on the processor. So you get a really fast, smooth experience throughout the OS, whether you're multitasking, scrolling, pinching, and zooming, no matter what you're doing on the phone. Um, it should run pretty smoothly and from my experience I had no hiccups at all. I did see a little lag and a little frame rate drops in some of the games that I was playing on this Motorola G. Now most games would be just fine but if you are playing games like Dead Trigger or something like that uh, this phone may not handle it as smoothly as you may see it work on a Nexus 5 or an S4 uh, but I think for most games in the Google Play Store it'll be just fine but just overall the OS on this phone just really screams and I really can't wait for Android 4.4 KitKat to come on this device and Motorola said it will be a guaranteed upgrade so at least they're giving me that type of reinsurance and so a lot of people including myself consider pure android the best version of android no skins nothing like that and so with this Motorola g as long as they continue that line of just really releasing just pure software on there and kind of giving us guaranteed updates i'm going to be just happy with this software for a long time to come and now since this phone is running pretty much a stock version of android i don't need to go into all the details about android because you already know what it brings to the plate but what i can do is go ahead and wrap up my review here and say that for 179 dollars this is going to be the best bang for your buck cell phone on the market right now with such a low price point off contract unlocked some people may actually question themselves whether or not they should get this phone because they may automatically associate a low price to something that may be cheap and have a cheap feeling and bad performance it performs mostly like all the other smartphones in the market right now but because it is missing a few things like nfc lte can only take 720p videos and the pictures themselves aren't nothing to really scream about there is going to be a segment of people out there including the power users when it comes to cell phones that may automatically just go ahead and dismiss this phone but if you don't find yourself in that category you're really just looking for a phone that works or you still know somebody who's rocking that 1997 flip phone and they say hey this phone works for me this may be that phone for them because of this off contract price and because it does all across the board provide really solid performance uh, this is a phone that I don't think a lot of people can turn down but with that being said I'm just about wrapped up but first it's going to take one let's look at our sponsor for this video Today's sponsor is Carbonite. Now, Carbonite is basically a lifesaver. It's an online backup solution that is automatic. And you choose which files you want to back up to it. And if something happens, like your computer blows up in your face, somebody steals it more than likely, or you leave it somewhere, Carbonite will allow you to get back up and running with all those files that you backed up securely using their service. And this works for businesses, just regular consumers like me and you out there that just have photos and videos that are things that are treasured. Carbonite will help you keep everything safe and handy when you want to use it. And they even have a free Carbonite application that you can use to access your files on the go with your mobile device. So Carbonite is going to be great for you or your business that you may have. So if you want to go ahead and try this thing out, just go to Carbonite.com and use the offer code SOLDIER and you'll get two months free if you decide to buy. Just go to Carbonite.com. No credit card needed at all. Check it out and make sure you use the offer code SOLDIER. Well, all right, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. This has been my review of the Moto G. Leave your comment down below what you think about this phone. And thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.